Hello, welcome aboard to Google Cloud. Today we're going to be talking about Cloud Functions. I'm going to leave it here on Cloud Functions. Let's continue on my Cloud Shell, which I will need. Basically, everything, everything is going to be done here. You know, I'm going to be opening the login. Now we have to set the project. So now we have to configure the project. My project is this one. We are going to run gcloud config set project. So now we're inside the project. First thing I'm going to do is first not one of the things I'm going to not going to put it such an order. I'm going to create a bucket. GS2 made bucket which matches with the project ID. I'm gonna leave this bucket with the same project ID. We create a bucket. Here I'm going to create a file. I'm going to call it gcloud functions test. It's going to be lived for empty. File is there. Great. Now, <clears throat> as we just created, I'm going to clone a repository with the Node.js stuff. Let's go to another folder. We're going to deploy functions. So the first thing I'm going to deploy it's a function gcloud function deploy hello js generic. I'm going to call it using Node.js 10 and the action event trigger the event finalize. Login. Yes. Alice Clark. I will set up the versioning on my bucket in a while. GST2 version is set off. It's my bucket. Give a jump on storage. Yeah, buckets there. Let's be back to the serverless thing. Still deploying. No logs. We can upload the file to the bucket. We can even try to read the logs.
There's nothing has scotch as expected. Now I'm going to deploy another function. Delete function. You know, I'm going to be removing and uploading the file. You can put on the bucket. File is there. File isn't there. Gonna be removing and uploading the file. Gonna, I could even put in a four. There's no logs yet. Function is created. We just take off the Let's try to read the logs. Anyway, we're going to trigger another one. Going to call archive. I'm going to create another function. The archive. Copy and remove. It's not getting the logs from my. I'm gonna go to functions. Maybe did that thing that's it's not partly correct. Here we go. We call it the created. Once you upload, once you remove, it really says, it really mentions. Function executed, the created, updated, and the merged. So once I upload the file, it triggers the function. Here we go, more and more. The type, gives you the type, even type. So it's running delete function. CP, let's copy. Let's remove. run more the last one function I deploy was the archiving so let's go to our function a command I'm gonna click here to see if we can see more logs That's one function trigger as the delete things. Like if we run also to read the logs, you should see that. Here we go. 
So every single event that was triggered was catch. In case I'm gonna leave in the delete function, deploy it last. Lastly, let's leave the delete function. You can try catch it. Everything here. OMG, I want to click here to analyze what we have. That's important when some, someone in, uploads a file or does any action over the storage. The serverless function of cloud function in case would be triggered giving you a warning, putting a message on a pub sub, whatever you could catch the warning as you would prefer how to track it. Every, everything under your control. Here we go. Let's call it. Let's see the source code. Okay, cloud functions. Let me show you the source code. Trigger on the source. Here we go. Once everything uploaded and deleted. Okay. Here's the export. My generic, the name, you can check the name. Spray is node stuff, node.js. Pretty simple, and you can uh, even trigger it and having a test wherever. The, all the, the triggers. Basically, that's all for today. Events delete. Sometimes it takes a while to even track that. So the information it's somewhere, but it's, it's being cut. It's gonna be caught anyhow, somehow, and when, and any time. It's not going to be lost. Even here, you can use both. The function just show the G called functions logs read, and on, on the login. On this, anyway, thanks for watching. That's all for today. Easy to create a cloud function triggering once you upload the file to the bucket or remover or whatever you need. Bye bye.